Welcome to the WISIS Forum 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Salah Shana, co-founder and creative director of the World Virtual Reality Forum. And you're also a WISIS partner, I understand, and are actually bringing virtual reality to us here in the forum. Yes, indeed. We're actually really happy to bring virtual reality at WISIS. Uh, thanks to uh, the workshop, the exhibition that we have right here, and also I was speaking at the policy statements, and we have invited Bruce Wooden from San Francisco for the TEDx that will be happening with us. My goodness, you've got a really packed agenda here uh, today. So tell me a little bit about these videos that we can see here at the forum. Yeah, sure. So at the exhibition, we'll have these devices showing 360 virtual reality videos. For instance, we have Bill Clinton with his project East Africa, showing all the impact of drought in Africa. And we also made a video for with us. Tell me about that. How did you bring WISIS alive in 3D? So with the WISIS team, we actually made a video in 360 to present all the goals of WISIS. And all the team was present, including the Secretary General of ITU, Mr. Hulin Zhao. And maybe you can have a look. Oh, with pleasure. How long is it? Oh, it's about two minutes. Two minutes. OK. And it's 360. Whoa. Yes. I can, uh, I can hear and see all of these uh, uh, key messages. Fantastic. Well, it's three minutes, you said. We don't have three minutes now, but all of the participants will be able to look at that video if they come here. But just tell me a little bit about uh, the technology, because we tend to think that 3D is all about gaming and entertainment. Mm -hmm. But I assume that it can take a step further and actually help development too. Exactly. I mean, this is why we are collaborating with WISIS, actually, because our organization wants to prove that virtual reality goes way beyond gaming and education, for instance, because we have a workshop on the 5th and we've teamed up with HTC and Immersive VR Education to show how, thanks to virtual reality, you can bring the highest standard of education to anybody. Uh, regardless of the ge geographical position or financial means, you can bring the best for everybody thanks to virtual reality. I mean, tell me how that works, because you would think that virtual reality, you would need a lot of connectivity, and is there connectivity in some of the places where this is needed? Yes, because actually you have internet everywhere, and with a headset, you can have a professor from Harvard, for instance, giving courses to kids in Africa or in uh, other countries. And with the HTC Vive, you can actually be from the amphitheater to the surface of Mars, for instance, and exploring Mars and touching the, the planets, thanks to the device, yeah. And that's another one of your videos, Mars, you're going we'll, into the we'll, planet? We'll show that on the workshop, thanks to David Wallen and uh, HTC Vive with Immersive VR Education. Wow. So what other applications can this have uh, for development? Because obviously the sustainable development goals are a main theme here at the conference. Mm -hmm. There are so many of them. How can this technology help? Well, this technology brings a lot of empathy because you are inside the scene. It's very different from everything that has happened before in media because you don't have a frame anymore. You're inside. So therefore, you can understand what problems are, have empathy and maybe uh, have act, act for change thanks to virtual reality. So it's almost as if you're in your own virtual world and you're feeling it and sensing it mm -hmm. and that's what brings mm -hmm. this sense that this is not just a problem for somebody in Africa or Asia or Latin America, but it's something that connects to me too. Exactly. The sense of presence brings such a high, high uh, level of empathy that's never seen before because this is the greatest change of paradigm since the invasion of, of cinema in my belief. Well, thank you very much for bringing virtual reality to us here at the WISIS Forum. And please do tune in to the ITU YouTube channel so that you can follow developments at the Forum, which is one of the key annual events bringing together technology, experts and development.